go welcome back to my channel and today uh, our topic is um, Kali Linux the latest release so this is the one Kali Linux 2019.4 release and if you look at the um, <clears throat> on the website you can see that it was actually released in um, November 26, 2019 and there are several exciting new updates. One of them is this one, Kali Undercover Mode and also uh, PowerShell Edit. Yeah. Okay, and uh, talking about the interface, uh, Kali is now using the, let me just scroll down. So Kali now is utilizing the uh, XFCE desktop. Let's have a look at this Kali. <coughs> so let me log on as usual, root and TOR tour. So this is the new XFCE interface of Kali. And if you open up the terminal emulator, you can see this one. And uh, let's look at the uh, version by typing uname minus a or dash a. So this is Kali Linux version 5.3.0 or known as 2019.11.20. Okay, then uh, let's uh, have a look at the menu. So we got almost the same menu as the pre previous uh, version. And to enable the Windows, uh, what do you call that? I forgot the name. Um, yeah, this one, the Kali Undercover. Yeah. So just type undercover, okay, and then select Kali undercover and wait for a while. And do you see any menu? No. Looks like, uh, yeah, oh, there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this is Kali undercover. It looks like Windows. Uh, it has the same Windows desktop, default Windows desktop, and it also has uh, this uh, start button. But when you click, you'll see the menu. Yeah, and to uh, go back to the original uh, Kali X FCE desktop, all you need to do is just type undercover again. Yeah. And click this one now let's have a look at this uh, Kali undercover mode you can just double click uh, double click this home folder uh, the appearance is just like uh, our Windows 10 let's have a look at the pictures for example we'll maybe go back to documents or downloads we got this you can see the icon it's almost the same. I would say it's very similar to Windows 10. And uh, when you go to the file system, we also see the same thing. Now, this is actually very useful uh, when you use uh, Kali um, in a public area. Yeah. So you can actually uh, use the undercover mode. Then you can pretend to work uh, on Windows 10 PC. Or laptop rather than Kali Linux yeah and then let's go back to the undercover and press or select this to refer it back to the original uh, desktop yeah so desktop setting restored now beside that um, let's just open up this terminal and um, <clears throat> you can check whether the uh, what do you call this? This uh, forgot the name. Uh, yeah, the PowerShell is installed by typing PWSH. Yeah, and you press enter. 
and if it is not installed what you can do is uh, you can just type apt get uh, install pwsh press enter yeah or powershell let me see powershell oops yeah because we already have this yeah powershell no issue with that yeah so let's just try to uh, remove powershell by typing because i already have the powershell so just type apt get remove pwsh or powershell let me see yep that's powershell supposed to be powershell so yes and then if you want to reinstall powershell <coughs> You can type apt get install powershell yeah uh, this is typically very useful if you want to test uh, you know some powershell uh, scripts okay let's reinstall just type by typing install powershell yep and that's it powershell will be installed It's going to take a while and pwsh to start powershell just type clear and help if you don't know anything yeah. so you got some ideas about uh, powershell yeah just type help you don't know anything yeah press space to start with the powershell and you can also type this one this command like get help the cmd let name yeah. yeah so for example get help update help yeah so let's say update help Yes, downloading the content. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you can also adjust by right clicking, I mean, adjust this terminal by right clicking the terminal and then go to the preferences. You can specify the font. For example, here I'm running or I'm using Bitstream Fera uh, Sans Mono. You can adjust the the size by clicking on this one and click OK. Yep. Let's exit this. And if you want to actually you know, change the interface, you can go to the uh, Kali menu and search for, uh, let me see, the settings. They normally have uh, a tool called uh, Tweak. Just type Tweak, yeah, which allows me uh, or us to, yeah, this is the Windows Manager Tweak where we can actually select and modify some settings like accessibility, workspaces, uh, focus, yeah, placement, mm -hmm. capacitor, and so on. Okay, so nothing much, yeah. So this is actually the so this is also another uh, you know, uh, options to minimize or maximize windows. And you can see the uh, folder, you can open a folder. Yep. And do more things, right? You can do a screencast, screenshot here. Yeah. Uh, to be frank with you, I personally still prefer the older version of Kali Linux, which is the 2019.2 and 2019.3. Um, <clears throat> uh, we can actually check this. So, for example, um, just to give you an idea about the older version, I could just go back and uh, let me see. I have some VMs here. So, uh, where should I see? Okay, I can check here. So this is my older version of uh, Kali. Let me restore the virtual machine. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. Or okay, so so this is the uh, the older KDE or perhaps genome interface. Uh, let me see. The older one was actually yeah GTK. Yeah. Uh, forgive me if uh, I'm wrong. So yeah, that's the older one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I personally prefer this one. Yeah, where you can actually uh, adjust the location to, you know, uh, you can select whether you want to use the bottom screen, yeah, or on the left screen. I prefer to put it on the left screen. So, for example, left here, and I still prefer the terminal. You can also uh, install uh, the Tmux, you know, the terminal uh, multiplexer, like for example here, Tmux, yeah? that will give me the uh, very nice uh, bash, yeah? and you can press, let's say, um, uh, Control B, and then percentage, let me see, um, where is my percent, yeah, here, so you can split this, yeah, same thing in fact, but uh, so for example here you could also try to install like uh, apt get uh, install t new terminal emulator it's already there uh, let me see this module installed okay let me see t which should be already installed yeah same thing where you can also press ctrl b and then percent yeah but still, again, I still prefer the older version. Yeah, so it's up to you guys. You can select uh, the older version. Yeah, uh, Kali 2019.3, uh, and uh, also you can compare this Kali 2019. You can also adjust the based on the preferences. You can also look at the transparency. So, for example, here you can check. Yeah, you can uh, you can adjust the trans. Uh, I think this is the correct one. Application transparency. Let me cancel this. Let me just go back to. Uh, let me see. Car scheme, Kali dark. Uh, let me just change the domo. Kali light. See what happened. Yeah, this is Kali light, and. You can try this Kali Dark or maybe something like Dark Pastels. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. And then um, Terminal Transparency, you can set like uh, maybe like 10. Yeah, this is more transparent. Yeah. And can press Ctrl B and left to change from left to right. Yeah, and just tap exit to exit from one console. Same like uh, the previous one here. Exit. Yeah. Um. What else? Let me see. So yeah. Uh, again, the we have uh, PowerShell. And if you look at the website, uh, there's also a um, an option for you to upgrade from the uh, older version of Kali to uh, Kali 2019.4 using this command, full upgrade. But uh, based on my own experience is actually not really um, you know advisable to upgrade because uh, when I did my upgrade I um, experienced uh, uh, bad things <laughs> my Kali did not start correctly uh, it's just hang uh, nothing happened after that so I decided to cre uh, create uh, a new installation yeah on new ins installation of Kali now, if you want to download Kali, just click, uh, go to this Kali.org and then select download Kali. 
and you have several options to download uh, Kali version 64-bit, uh, 32-bit, the light version, the MAID, Genome, yeah, 64. So of course you can select whether you want to use the Genome, the older version, or even KDE. Yeah. So several uh, several options to actually download from uh, this uh, Kali. You can also download the uh, the VMware version of, uh, from the Offensive Security VM download page. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so it will send you to, to the uh, uh, different website. Okay. And yeah, so I would personally um, advise that you uh, download this um, ISO file like uh, Kali Linux 64 bit yeah, using, for example, Torrent, uh, the most stable one. Yeah. Uh, and you can select whether you want to use the XFCE interface or the desktop uh, interface or MATE or Genome or even KDE. Yeah. So it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all for my uh, Kali 2019.4 review and yeah i wish that you can actually enjoy this yeah this is your kali uh just uh, the last thing to do to um, uh, make sure that this is your kali just grab the operating system version yeah and type uh, or select paste it to the clipboard yeah so you got this correct version all right Thank you very much and see you again on my next um, tutorial or you know, first look. All right, bye-bye.